you're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully who you select, as while you will receive a claim for beating them, you'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. I know we were expecting some new developments to
And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Verstappen, Hamilton and a Red Bull. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head in. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? Not a great day for your teammate today. Great. Well, that's everything. All right, I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race, and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. It's one of the fastest races of the season here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve, with around 60% of this 2.7 mile circuit taken at full throttle. There are 14 corners to navigate, the very last of which has its very own infamous history and could be the cause of a safety car today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have the owner driver, Perez, Valtteri Bottas and Leclerc, Sainz, Ricardo, Norris and Pierre Gasly, Vettel, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso and Ocon, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, George Russell and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Alesi, Mazepin and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power.
Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. is gaining on you by five tenths a lap. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Yes, 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 we're on the podium. Good job this weekend, great drive, thank you. That's it then for another magnificent Canadian Grand Prix, and they've hung on to take a sublime victory here today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here.
Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I'm going to give it to the owner driver today. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull pull further ahead in the standings. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.